hello friends today in this tutorial i will be showing you a new pdf uh, set of tools that i developed using js pdf library and pdf lib library inside node.js and express this is a demo that you are seeing right here guys you will see uh, lots of tools are there uh, merging pdf if you want to edit pdf files splitting the pdf files adding page numbers inside existing pdf documents deleting pdf page numbers and also you can add watermarks text watermark or image watermark let me show you each and every tool guys that i've developed inside this node.js express you will get all the source code guys you just need to go to the description of the video and you can purchase the full source code i have uh, just developed this with my full dedication and support so please support me so this is the first tool guys which is merge pdf so now guys let me show you we basically uh, will be merging some pdf documents so let's suppose i uh, download a pdf document let me say sample.pdf so now there is this dummy pdf file guys there is only one page is there let me download this file inside my downloads directory so i have successfully downloaded this and now let me download this file which is which is again a two pages you can see it contains two pages so now this contains two pages so now also let me just download this let me call this as uh, two so now we have two files guys so now we can simply say choose pdf file and now i can choose any of these two documents let me select this first document and again you can select here the second document and now you can see that guys it will exactly tell you which pdf files you have selected you have selected this file this is the first file that we selected you will see that it will show you the live preview as well and this is the second file that you're seeing right here now we need to merge these two documents so we will simply press the button guys merge pdf you can even delete this also if you don't like it you can delete this from the list here again if you just want to select this you will select it let me just choose that file let me just refresh it I think let me just restart this sorry uh, nodemon index.js so now you can see it is running here so now let me select these files guys so first of all let me select sample.pdf and let me now select 2.pdf so two files are selected let me click merge pdf now you can see that guys the third file is downloaded here you will see if you see we have got the second pages you will see automatically these two files have been successfully merged right here we have selected these two files here so this is the merge tool guys it's very easy it will basically create the third file it will merge automatically the both both of these two pages right here you can select any of these documents three pages you can select here you can see that click merge pdf and now you will see it will merge all the pdf documents as you can see it has merged all the pdf documents that you're seeing right here guys so now i will be showing you the second tool guys which is the edit pdf document so basically now guys with the help of this tool right here you can basically edit any of the pdf documents so let me select this pdf document if you click this it will redirect you to this file here and here basically you can write anything here let's suppose if you want to make any sort of modification that you want to do inside your pdf document you can choose any sort of color that you want which is red color blue color green color you can even change the font size as well with these like this brush size you can also manipulate let's suppose 46 and now if you want to basically you can see that you can see that you can even Im embed images as well guys right here if any sort of images are also there let's suppose i download any sort of image from the internet so let's suppose i say mountain let me select download this image on my computer so save this so it's a jpg file so now let's suppose you want to uh, basically add this image so what we can do we can simply say downloads go to a downloads directory and now guys you, you can simply select that if you see with this uh, select tool you can place this image anywhere inside your pdf document you can resize this right here you will see that and you can also add text as well guys you can see you can place individual elements right here and if you don't want to do this you can just pick this element and delete this 
there is also a delete are you sure so it will delete that element you can see this is the dust dustbin icon is there so you can individually delete elements right here if you want to clear out the page guys so you can also click this button so now this will clear out all the entries right here you will see now this will reset everything you can even draw shapes as well guys different kinds of shapes you can draw so basically this is basically very useful you can even draw arrows as well guys so let's suppose if you want to add arrows you can add some arrows as well and this is basically this tool pencil tool that i talked about if you want to do and now if you want to export this guys you can simply click this button right here so you can see that if you want to basically uh, save this you can see that modified changes have been successfully exported to a different PDF document right here. So you can see that. So all this is coded inside Node.js Express guys. You can buy this full source code. The link is given in the description of the video. Let me show you the directory structure guys. So basically we are using all these dependencies. This is a Node.js Express project. After purchasing the code you will get all this directory structure. It's awesome. You will get to know about all the code that I've written right here. This is the editor, merger, page number. All this code is there. So you can see that. So definitely purchase it if you want to. And let me show you one other tool right here, which is uh, the splitting tool. So let's suppose guys, if you want to split any sort of PDF document. So let's suppose I open this document. So this document guys, you can see it contains uh, 10 pages right here. You can see it contains a total of 10 pages. So now if I want to select this PDF document, so you can see we have selected this PDF document. It contains 10 pages. So now if I want to split this PDF document guys, so what we can do is that we can either we can write individual pages by comma one comma five. So we can basically add ranges as well. So one to five. So one dash five. So basically guys, it will split the PDF document with these pages here. Now you can see that it has created I can basically open this PDF document. So now you can see it contains uh, 1 to 5. So it, it it has splitted this PDF document one from 1 to 5. So it only contains 1 to 5 pages like this. You will see that. So it only contain pages from 1 to 5. So here you can provide any sort of range that you want. So let's suppose uh, uh, you can also say 1 to 5 and then put a comma and then you can write here from 6 to 8 so now this will contain two pdf documents guys if i select you will see a zip file will be downloaded in this case so now you simply need to extract the zip file so you will simply say extract all so now it will click on extract and you now you will see basically guys it will have the first one right here from 1 to 5 so it has and rest of the files are there right here so this is a split tool guys this is very handy and then guys we have the tool called as uh, if you just write here we have the add page numbers so here guys you will select your pdf document so right here guys if you see if i open this pdf document here sample.pdf you will see there is no way to basically see the page numbers here so we need to add page numbers from one here we will write bottom side we will add right here page 1, page 2, page 3. So now we can do that easily by selecting the PDF document and then basically you need to select the position. Let's suppose I will default position is bottom right and the select size you can say medium, large, anything. Let me select medium and also you can change the color as well. So let's suppose I pick this color. Click add page number. So even now you will see it will add this color. Page 1, this is page 2 page 3, page 4, automatically it will add page numbers to all the PDF documents. So you can see how easy are these tools guys. You can purchase this source code and you can earn some money as well by deploying this to a real domain name. So these are real tools that I have developed for you guys. So please support me. And let's suppose if you want at a different position, top left, you can again say, let me again do that process so now if i select this so and at that i have this one so let's suppose i say top right 
i think this position is very good bottom right obviously uh, bottom right is the position guys so here all the page numbers comes here that's why and uh, then we have got guys the delete pages tool i think yeah so if you want to basically delete some pages guys inside your pdf document let's suppose if i select this file here which is called as this sample.pdf so it contains 10 pages if you see it contains a total of 10 pages so now if i want to delete some of the pages i can put comma here i need to delete the first page i need to delete the fourth page seven page and eighth page so now we need to delete four pages here so now it will delete uh, delete those four pages and now it will only contain these six pages so those four pages that we mentioned right here guys it was successfully deleted so in this easy way guys you can also delete pages as well so this is really good and uh, this is the tool for deleting de deleting the pages and last but not least guys we have the text bottom watermark tool and here you can mention any sort of uh, let's suppose john williamson watermark and then you can select your uh, phone family and then you select your phone size let's suppose i say 50 and you rotation is 45 degree opacity you can control guys click on it and now hopefully this will first of all i think you need to select the pdf document so let's suppose i select this one click now it will basically download you will see all this watermark will be added here this is the first page here this is a second page this is a third page fourth page you can see that in each page the watermark is added here this is a text watermark that you are seeing right here you can manipulate guys by uh, just uh, modifying these properties this text font family rotation font size and opacity as well similarly you also have the option to add an image watermark let's suppose if you have an image we let me select this image that we first of all let me select the pdf document and select the image file so we have this image file which is download so now this watermark will be added guys you will see this image watermark that you are seeing right here in each of the page right here you will see that so this is also guys you can see you can also control the opacity as well so thank you very much guys for watching this if you want the full source code you can go to the description of the video i have given all the source code you can purchase the full source code and uh, then i will support you if you face any sort of problem thank you very much guys for watching this